Baby. All right, welcome back to another video. In our last video, we created the UI. Uh, so in this video, we're actually going to start doing some work to uh, hook up uh, some of the UI elements uh, to react to the gameplay. So like whenever we score a goal, we want this window right here to pop up that says goal, our distance to goal, and the amount of money we earned from scoring a goal. Um, so first let's, let's uncheck the enabled box for the gold scored GUI and, uh, let's, okay. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to, uh, create some, some, uh, some values on the, uh, player for the, on the, that'll be kept on the local client. Um, but in order to do that, we need to create a server script that will, that will, uh, create the values we need every time a player joins the game. So in our server script service, let's add a new script. Uh, we're going to name this leader stats. All right. And in our leader stats, we are going to all the game dot players dot player added so every time a player is added we're going to connect a function that passes through the player and then inside here we can put our logic and so what we want to do first is we want to create a folder called leader stats equals instance new folder and we want to parent it to the player and we want to say leader stats dot name equals leader stats all right and so we also want to create another folder inside of leader stats uh called conditionals so this will be where we keep logic for like if you know, a goal is scored, then, then we can uh, access that is a goal scored value to run some other logic. So, uh, conditionals equals um, instance dot new instance type folder, and we want to parent this to leader stat. And so conditionals dot name equals conditionals and let's also capitalize leader stats it's conditionals and uh as it so now we want to actually create a goal scored value so uh, what we're going to do is we are going to say, first, let's make a comment for conditionals. I also would like to make a comment up here just for folders. All right, conditionals. Um, let's say let's do two for now. Let's do a local ball shot equals instance new full value. Uh, parent this to conditionals. We want to say ball shot dot name equals ball shot and then ball shot dot value equals false. And we also want to do a local goal scored equals instance dot new full value 
comparing it to conditionals. Goal scored dot name equals goal scored and goal scored dot value equals false. All right, we've got that. Uh, let's let's uh let's go to our player manager and scroll down to the goal trigger um let's move move this down so it's easier to find Move it right there, and so we'll say if ball, then uh, goal scored. We want to say, um, what do we want to say? I want to say player dot leader stats dot. Go back to leader stats really quick. Yeah, conditionals. All right, player dot leader stats dot conditionals. Player dot leader stats dot conditionals dot goal scored equals true. Um. So goal scored equals true. Now let's uh, go to our goal scored GUI and let's add a local script in here. And this is going to be goal scored GUI. And in here, we are just going to uh, access the the GUI itself. So local goal scored GUI equals script dot parent. And uh, let's get the player also. So local player equals game dot players dot local player and we will say um we will say player dot leader stats dot conditionals uh dot goal scored dot change colon connect function and we'll say goal scored GUI dot enabled equals true All right, we need to say if player dot leader stats dot conditionals dot goal score dot value equals true then goal score dot enabled equals true and end 
And uh, I don't know. Let's go test it out. Don't know if it's going to work. Uh, let's just see. See what happens. So yeah, the reason this is popping up is because I still have it as a test and uh, still have it testing uh, for Xbox. Yeah, so it's not working. Goal score is not a value member. All right. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Go to test. Really? Why can't I? I'm here. Go to test device. All right. All right, back. So what? What did we get in the output? It's a goal score. It's not a value member of folder player leader player manager 155 so i think we're having another one of those things where it sees it on the server but it doesn't see it on the client or whatever something like that uh player leader sets conditionals yeah because this is a local script But uh, I don't, I don't want to make this condition. Uh, I don't want to put these conditionals in this script. Um, I actually want to make a remote event for this. Um, I think anyways, let's see. We want to, we want to tell the server whenever we score, uh, definitely want to do that. Um, Add a remote event. Call this goal scored event. Let's scroll up. And let's add it. Let's comment these two lines out. Let's do local. Goal scored event equals RS goal scored. And we will say uh, we'll say goal scored event, uh, fire server. And we want to pass through the player, um, one thing we want to do is get the disc to goal or do that when we shoot instead because we don't want the distance of us uh, from the goal when the ball is scored we want it for whenever we shoot we want to get that I'm tempted just to go ahead and do that but I'm trying not to get sidetracked uh, let's, let's finish this remote event first so goal scored event, fire server, uh, just want to pass through the player, um, for now anyways. And, uh, I guess we want to go to the game manager and shoot ball event. Let's do, oh yeah, we got to add the uh, goal scored event, goal scored event equals RS goal scored. 
and then we can say goal scored event dot on server event uh, connect and function and player and yeah uh, so we will say player dot leader stats dot conditionals dot goal scored equals true. So let's try this. Check the output. There's no errors as of right now. And yeah, we definitely got an error. Server game manager 25. Server game manager 25. Player leader stats. Conditionals. Goal scored. Uh, one thing, let's get rid of that. Let's look at players. We've got leader stats, conditionals, goal scored. Yeah, I don't know why that's failing. Goal scored is not a valid member of folder. Conditionals. Yeah, I spelled it right. Goal scored. Is spelled correctly. Oh wait, goal scored. Uh, value maybe. It's still going to give us that error message, but that did need to be changed to dot value. Hey, never mind. That was what was wrong. Was. Hmm. Okay, but hang on. So this local script though is able to player leader stats conditionals goal scored. But see this is a local script and it's able to access um server like the changes we did on the server. Yeah, I don't player dot leader stats dot conditionals dot goal scored dot value equals true i'm just curious now maybe i did something wrong but i want to say that would work but it obviously doesn't I don't know why I'm even pulling. It did work. What did I do wrong last time? So I didn't need to do a, a remote event. I don't know what I did wrong last time. But anyways. Yeah, just leave that. Uh, leave it like that. Um, yeah, that's it. And then, uh, we're going to wait.
Let's wait uh, like two seconds. Let's wait two seconds and then we will uh, we'll actually just change the value to equal false. equals false and then we will also say right here else uh goal scored gui dot enabled equals false so this will wait two seconds change it to false when it's changed to false this will get called again and it'll run this else statement Shot accuracy is terrible, which is good. All right, so we got the UI uh, popping up. Um, let's get let's create a. Uh, variable for shot distance distance equals zero and I want to copy this line right here because we will say uh, if shooting began then let's get the distance get distance to goal and we will just copy this line well let's say uh shot distance equals and then now let's copy in this line math absolute of not shot aim position but we want to do the uh hmm, the player dot character dot humanoid root part dot position minus the uh, goal trigger dot position and then let's uh, let's uh, let's print the Shot distance, so we'll say shot distance equals dot dot, and we'll say to string, and we'll say shot distance. All right, let's test that out. Output the shot distance is 260 and I keep this window up. Thank you. Shot distance 260, 250, we move closer, 232. So it does seem to be working. You know what we're gonna have to do? We're gonna have to go to our leader stats. Let's create one for local stats. Let's call it game stats equals instance dot new uh, folder. And we will parent that to leader stats, and this will be uh, game stats. Uh, name equals game stats. Let's come down here. Let's do a game stats. And we'll say local um, shot distance 
equals instance new uh, number value. Uh, and this will be uh, game stats and uh, shot distance dot name equals shot distance shot distance dot value equals zero and we need to go back to our player manager and we need to get rid of the shot distance And right here we need to say player dot leader stats dot game stats dot shot distance shot distance dot value and then we need to copy this and paste it there and uh, we need to go make sure this is working. You sent me two, okay, yeah, that's working. 53, 243, 233, excellent. And so now we need to go uh, to our goal scored GUI. And whenever a goal is scored, well, first we need to get access to the, uh, what is it? The goal scored frame, uh, distance variable label. Distance variable label. <clears throat> Equals uh, goal scored GUI. Uh, goal scored frame dot distance variable label. And then here we just need to say um, distance variable label equals uh, player dot leader stats dot game stats dot shot distance dot value and press play oh wait not value Distance a label dot text equals player dot leader stats game stats shot distance value. All right, let's try that. Nope. Oh wait, no, I was looking at the money. Yeah, never mind, that is working. No, no, it's not actually. One seventy one. But it, that says one sixty five. One sixty. Yeah, it says one sixty. And it should have been one fourteen. I don't know why. Kind of hit and miss. Now it's one fourteen.
114. What the hell? 119. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I need to put this up here. Sixty-eight. All right, that's working. We need to format that. Roblox, how to format number commas. Roblox how to format number. Oh, let's just do math floor. Yeah. Um, so we'll say on the goal scored GUI, we'll say math floor and we will cut this and paste it. And so now it should round it uh, to an integer. Goal distance to, oh, uh, I did, I did happen to be at 250. Okay. 193. Oh, okay. And we need to add. 193 and we will we also gotta make this a two string so I want to add M for meters now let's see what that looks like. All right, that's working. So now we need to do the money. So let's go to our leader stats again. And right here, we're gonna add a uh, leader stat for money. Instance, new number value. And we're gonna parent this to leader stats. Uh, this is gonna be money.name equals money. 
um, and money dot value is going to equal zero. All right, uh, so we have our money. Uh, we'll say we are going to get a reference to the money. Uh, variable label let's just call it the money label uh, it's gonna equal goal score GUI uh, dot parent dot default GUI and money frame all GUI dot money frame dot money label uh let's select the money label right here and let's actually change it to to zero where is it So we have changed it to zero. We are going to uh, come over to our goal scored GUI and we're going to say what are we going to say? So we need to increase the money. So we need to say player dot leader stats dot money dot value plus equals uh let's just do like a thousand right now. Uh plus equals a thousand and then we need to say actually Actually, we don't need to get this right here. What we're going to do is we're just going to increase the value of the money right here. And then we're going to create a, not a frame, a local script for the default GUI. And on this, we're going to say uh, local default GUI equals script dot parent. And then we're going to say money label equals default GUI uh, dot money frame dot money label. And we will say uh, local player equals game dot players dot local player and we will say player dot leader stats dot money dot value dot I don't think we need value money dot change connect function there and uh, every time the money's changed uh, we we want to say uh, money label dot text equals dollar sign, then, um, we want to say dollar sign dot dot, and then to string, and we'll say player dot leader stats dot money not value that's that let's uh take a look all 
All right, so it went up by a thousand. Went up by a thousand again in two thousand. All right, so that's working. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, now we need to adjust the amount of money that uh, is increased by every time we score a goal. And we want that to be dependent upon the uh, distance to the goal. So the farther you make it, make a goal from, then the more money you get. So we're gonna say plus equals player uh shot distance i mean plus equals shot distance and we'll multiply it by three just to spice it up a little bit so let's get that let's check this money label again and i just want to put it at zero All right, we need to do the math floor again. Check it now. Need to add a local goal score. Uh, we need to add a money label. And that's going to equal uh, the goal scored GUI dot goal scored frame dot money label. And we want to say money label dot text equals dollar sign dot dot to string Two string math floor. All right. I think that should do it. Wait, that said, okay, I, yeah, I didn't multiply it by three. Let's, let's create a local, local money earned. Two string money earned. And 
money earned. Make sure it's still working. All right. So I think we're going to end it there. Uh, we got the UI hooked up and we've got several different values now that we can uh, update and display with our UI. So in the next video, we are going to, um, I don't know what we're going to do actually, but we'll figure it out and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.